He's quirky and cranky, and that makes for a lot of awkward interactions. What a jerk. Help Prospector learn from his mistakes. It's time for Am I a Jerk on Rock 107. Am I a Jerk? The brand new Apple iPhones went on order. Uh, of course, I went ahead and ordered a new phone. Now, I currently have an iPhone, and it's great. In fact, there is nothing wrong with it. Not a thing. It still charges to 96% of its original battery life in two years that I've owned it. That's pretty good. The casing, flawless. The screen, spotless, undamaged. It works like new. It's beautiful. But there I was Friday plunking down 1250 bucks to get a brand new iPhone. And my friend Mike and I were talking about it on Saturday. And he said, hey, it's something uh, iPhones are out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I ordered one. And he's like, why? Your phone's practically perfect. Why would you get a new one? And I said, you know, I just wanted it. He's like, you dropped 1200 plus on a new phone you don't need? What a jerk. So I ask you, does that make me a jerk? Kimberly on Facebook.com slash Angry Prospect says, yep, waste of money. That makes you a jerk. What do you think, Rock 107? Hey, Prospector. Hey. No, you are not a jerk. And anybody who says that you are is only because they are jealous of you. Jealous of you. I don't know what there is to be jealous of, but okay, I'll take it. Okay. All right, what's your name? Christina. Thank you, Christina. Jesse says, I don't think you're a jerk. You bought something you wanted. The fact that it was an unnecessary purchase, that's a different story. Wendy, what, did he give you the money? No, it's your money. You worked for it. It's none of anybody else's business other than your wife's. What you spend your money on? Life's short. Do what makes you happy. Awesome. What do you think? Am I a jerk? Hey, prospector. Yes, sir. I don't think that makes you a jerk. It makes you stupid, though, to spend that much money on a phone. <laughs> so stupid, but not a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I go with stupid. I, I mean, look, I've been stupid my whole life. I can live with that. <laughs> I hear you, brother. <laughs> stupid, I'm fine with. Jerk, not so much. Ashley says, hey, you're not a jerk, Prospector. You work hard for your money. Spend it on what you want. Mickey, though, says, yeah, you're a jerk, and it's pretentious, so you're pretentious. And Sharon says, a jerk, no. A fool, maybe, but it's your money to spend the way you choose, so not a jerk. What do you think? Am I a jerk? Rock 107. Prospector, I don't think you're a jerk. It's your money. Spend it on whatever the heck you want to spend it on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it only proves one thing, though, that you're overpaid. <laughs> I can't fight the truth on that one, brother. That's all right. You spend your money on whatever you want. All right. That's what I'm going to do. And the question today of am I a jerk for blowing 1200 bucks plus on a brand new phone that I clearly do not need, like my friend Mike asserts, the answer today is no, I am not a jerk. Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. A woman's arm muscles broke down and released toxic chemicals into her body that almost killed her because she did too many pull-ups. I'd just like to note that I've never encountered this problem while eating a bacon double cheeseburger. B. Diddy's indictment is 14 pages long, but in his defense, seven of those pages are just for listing his different names. Angelina Jolie and her daughter got matching tattoos. She wants to do the same with all her kids, but the human body only has so much room. Making sure breaking news stays broken. Tune in tomorrow for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Rock 107's got your hookup for tickets to see the Doobie Brothers Saturday night in Allentown. We're just looking for you. Rock 107, who's this? Don. What are you up to this morning? I'm taking my wife to work. All right, Don, taking the wife to work. That's a wonderful thing. Uh, listen, Saturday, maybe you take her down to Allentown, go see the Doobie Brothers. you got a pair of tickets from Rock 107. Awesome. All the winning isn't done here at Rock 107 on this two for Tuesday morning. No, no, no. Hi, Rock 107's Prospector. Got a shot for you to get in the running for two tickets to both shows of Metallica's two night stands of no repeat shows in Philadelphia Memorial Day weekend of 2025. Just keep listening for James Hetfield from Metallica to tell you to call in to win on Rock 107. Hi, I'm Prospector's wife, Tara. Here's a little taste of my world. It's time for Prospector's Picky Pet Peeves on Rock 107. Have you seen the commercials for Bet MGM? You know, with Jamie Foxx. There's one commercial where he says, and I quote, that's a win. And then some small celebratory sounds are going on. And then Jamie turns to the camera and rather tersely says, I said, that's a Bet MGM win. And then there's fireworks and stuff. But he never said it was a bet MGM win until he said it then. His second line should have been, I mean, that's a bet MGM win. I know it's picky, but this is picky pet peeves, right? Good Lord. I hate when TV weathermen tell me a little sun is trying to peek out of the clouds. 
or the clouds are attempting to block out the sun. No, those are human attributes. The clouds are simply starting to block out the sun. The sun is simply shining through a break in the clouds. The sun, the clouds, they don't possess the ability to try anything. That's a pathetic fallacy, and these supposed science types should know better. Seriously? Political commercials. All of them. And I know I kind of make a living off them, but for Pete's sakes, do we need them so far in front of the election? I think 30 days out is fine. 30 days out, not one day more. That goes for candidates, PACs, all of that stuff. If you try to run one before October, you get pulled from the ticket, no questions asked. Nobody cares. You think that was bad? Try living with him. Love you, honey. Mean it. Good morning, I'm Rock 107's Prospector. Every day I scour the World Wide Web, looking for funny or interesting videos to put on our websites and clips to play for you on the show. When I find one that stands out above the rest, I declare it to be the winner of the internet. Today I have found just such a video. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had some fun with some of their newest players by seeing if they could correctly identify things from the 1990s. Stuff like VHS tapes, floppy disks, and cassettes. Check it out. It's like a DVD. A VR, VR? DVR? I ain't gonna lie. This is a little DVD thing that you put in the uh, VCR? A VHS, right? Yep. <laughs> CD. This is like a, just a regular CD. CD? I don't know. IBM? Oh, oh. Disc. Is that what it is? Floppy is that a floppy disk? Dang, I would have never gotten that. Y'all got me on this one. I don't know this one. Yeah, this thing we used to put in the music thing for like someone and stuff like that. Yep. I don't know what it's called. Though, like. <laughs> this is the cassette, right? The times has changed. <laughs> You can see the video by going to rock107.com and clicking the winner of the internet or facebook.com slash angry prospector. There it is, your winner of the internet for this Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A runner from North Carolina named Tara Downer just broke a world record by hiking the entire Appalachian Trail in 40 days, 18 hours, and 5 minutes. That's just under 2,200 miles, so an average of 54 miles a day. A guy from Belgium held the previous record. She beat him by more than 13 hours. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. Ladies and gentlemen, grab the kids, call your neighbors, and gather around the radio. It's now time to announce the winner of Prospector's Jam Bag of the Day, as decided by you at rock107.com. We uncover the most baffling, ridiculous, pathetic, cockeyed, laughable, preposterous blunders in the world of misdeeds. Nominee number one. If I asked you what your craziest day at work was, you might have to think about it. This guy doesn't. A cable worker in North Carolina parked his bucket truck on the side of the road the other day while working on some power lines. And he was up in the bucket when a random guy jumped in the driver's seat, stole the truck, and started speeding down the road with the boom extended. The guy drove more than a half mile before crashing on the side of the road. The boom hit a power line and caused a utility pole to snap. The worker apparently got tossed from the bucket, but had a safety strap on, and that saved him. He ended up cutting the strap to free himself, and he hurt his leg when he fell. The moron who stole the truck is an older guy named Frank Moody, who'd just been released from jail two hours earlier. He's facing charges for larceny of a motor vehicle and assault with a deadly weapon. Nominee number two. Every now and then you hear about a mystery that would be perfect for a TV detective. Someone in California had their car broken into on Friday the 13th. They parked outside of a school and had gone inside of the gym with their kid. When they came back to the car, they saw the back passenger window had been smashed. They looked inside and noticed that there was at least one thing missing. A cardboard box that the owner says contains one million dollars in cash. Really? In your car? Police also say they discovered a GPS device attached to the car that the victim didn't seem to be aware of, so maybe the thieves knew what they were doing. Suddenly, this break-in is a lot more interesting. But unfortunately, there aren't any more details. Cops are investigating both the break-in and the claim there was a million bucks in cash inside. And the winner is... The guy who stole a cable company's truck while a worker was in the bucket. You're lucky he didn't kill the guy. You're the yam bag of the day, and we'll move on to Friday's yam bag of the week competition. Keep it here for all the nominees for Prospector's yam bag of the day. Weekday mornings on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. 
Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.